I have a pretty easy day today. I have um, a customer I'm going to hang a couple light fixtures in the kitchen. And then I got to go and see another customer. They have a faulty circuit in their house. So this will all probably take me a good half day maybe to take care of both these jobs. So I like doing these small little jobs, especially on a Friday. Get finished a little early. But how do you price a job like that? You know, so like you're going to hang a couple light fixtures, you're kind of in and out. And then you go to a service call job where a, a faulty circuit. So, you know, you got to have kind of a minimum that you work with. You know, you want to show up at a job ready to do the job, but you need to get a minimum payment to cover your time. Uh, last time I filled my truck, it was over $70 for fuel. And um, do that maybe twice a week. You know, I'm on the road quite a bit looking at jobs and doing these service call jobs. So you need to cover your overhead and your time. Not to mention if you're a self-employed contractor, you know, a lot of your time is kind of like non-productive, whether it be looking at jobs, pricing jobs, calling customers, calling customers back, dealing with paperwork. So you got to include all that in, in like your charges, what you're charging. And then you can be like me where you might go out to a service call, you know, you, you, you kind of talk to a customer and uh, you're like, well, yeah, I'll fit you in during the week sometime if that'll work for you because it's a small little job, you know? So you get their information, but you forget they get their phone number. So you head out and, you, and you're like, oh, I got, I have the address and everything, person's name, but I don't know their cell number. And you can't really get that that easily. So you go by the house and, um, yeah, they're not there, so you leave a card. So, you know, you have things like that that happen. And um, it's like really my fault, but it does happen. It's not like when you go, you have to bring your car to a garage and have them work on it. You know, you, you have to go to their garage. Yeah, they give you maybe a waiting room to like hang out in while they're doing your work. And then, or they may even have a loaner car. Depends on the depends on the shop but it's at their kind of convenience and they schedule cars in so like you know it's almost like a doctor's office you know for them to work on your car and uh you know most of these locations they, they're charging i haven't seen anyone charge less than 85 dollars an hour for a mechanic to work on your car you know so i've seen it from 85 to 140 dollars an hour to do work and some garages use a book price. So it's like if they're changing something out, there's just a flat rate. So as a, as a small contractor, then how do, you, how do you price your work? What, what are you worth? 